Welcome to the Transitions Daily Podcast. Transitions Daily is an online recovery group that offers a daily distribution of popular recovery resources accompanied by a secret Facebook group for discussion. We hope you enjoy today's readings. This is Transitions Daily for February 17th, read by Sarah M. from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. AA Thoughts for the Day, A New Life. Life will take on a new meaning. To watch people recover, to see them help others, to watch loneliness vanish, to see a fellowship grow up about you, to have a host of friends. This is an experience you must not miss. We know you will not want to miss it. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 89. Thought to consider. Break out of your shell and join us. AA acronyms, FEEL, FEEL, EXPERIENCE, EXPRESS, LET GO. Just for today, God's help from another prodigal story. I know I am an alcoholic, and while I used to call on God to help me, my conclusion is that I was simply asking God to help me drink alcohol without it hurting me which is a far different thing than asking him to help me not to drink at all. Experience Strength and Hope, page 113. Daily Reflections, The Love in Their Eyes Some of us won't believe in God, others can't, and still others who do believe that God exists have no faith whatever he will perform this miracle. Twelve Steps and Twelve Traditions, page 25. It was the changes I saw in the new people who came into the fellowship that helped me lose my fear and change my negative attitude to a positive one. I could see the love in their eyes, and I was impressed by how much their one-day-at-a-time sobriety meant to them. They had looked squarely at step two and came to believe that a power greater than themselves was restoring them to sanity. That gave me faith in the fellowship, and hoped that it could work for me, too. I found that God was a loving God, not the punishing God I had feared before coming to AA. I also found that he had been with me during all those times I had been in trouble before I came to AA. I know today that he was the one who led me to AA, and that I am a miracle. As Bill sees it, live serenely. When a drunk has a terrific hangover because he drank heavily yesterday, he cannot live well today. But there is another kind of hangover which we all experience, whether we are drinking or not. That is the emotional hangover, the direct result of yesterday's and sometimes today's excesses of negative emotion, anger, fear, jealousy, and the like. If we would live serenely today and tomorrow, we certainly need to eliminate these hangovers. This doesn't mean we need to wander morbidly around in the past. It requires an admission and correction of errors now. 12 and 12, pages 88 to 89. Big Book Quote We have no desire to convince anyone that there is only one way by which faith can be acquired. If what we have learned and felt and seen means anything at all, it means that all of us, whatever our race, creed, or color, are the children of a living creator with whom we may form a relationship upon simple and understandable terms as soon as we are willing and honest enough to try. Alcoholics Anonymous, There is a Solution, page 28. 24 hours a day. AA thought for the day. Alcohol is poison to the alcoholic. Poison is not too strong a word because alcoholism leads eventually to the death of the alcoholic. It may be a quick death or a slow death. When we go by package stores and see various kinds of liquor all dressed up in fancy packages to make it look attractive, we should always make it a point to say to ourselves so we'll never forget it. That stuff's all poison to me. And it is. Alcohol poisoned our lives for a long time. Do I know that since I'm an alcoholic, all liquor is poison to me? Meditation for the day. 
I must somehow find the means of coming nearer to God. That is what really matters. I must somehow seek the true bread of life, which is communion with him. I must grasp for the truth at the center of all worship. This central truth is all that matters. All forms of worship have this communion with God as their purpose and goal. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may meet God in quiet communion. I pray that I may partake of the soul food that God has provided for me. Hazelden Foundation, P.O. Box 176, Center City, Minnesota, 55012. I'm Sarah, and I'm an alcoholic. We hope you enjoy today's readings. You can also receive Transitions Daily via email and discuss today's readings in our secret Facebook group. So for more information, go to dailyaaemails.com today. Other than the 24 hours a day reading, unless otherwise specified, all quotes copyright Alcoholics Anonymous World Services, Inc., 1952, 1957, 1967, 1973, 1975, 1976, 1980, 1981, 1984, 1985, 1988, 1990, or 2001.